And we did that in the very beginning. We focused everything, all of our attention, all of our money, all of our time on our travel agency. It did not pay the bills. So we needed to find something that would. We became a serial entrepreneur because we gave our all to these businesses that were successful, but not successful enough. So we opened several businesses. We do a lot. We do a lot. But they're not all businesses. You know, he had Mr. Do-It-All Services eight years ago. Mm -hmm. The only reason his business ended is because somebody stole his truck and all of his equipment. No insurance. He lost everything. Correct. So when something like that happens, it's very hard to rebuild unless you have that money sitting in the bank. Mm -hmm. So we've just reopened Mr. Do-It-All Services because we know that is residual money that will come in. We know because he has the client base. We have so many contacts that always need so many different things. Why not reopen that business to be able to offer those services? But my biggest fear is time. We had somebody reach out to us. We need it done Monday. Monday's booked. Mm -hmm. You know, we and we do work with other people that we can subcontract to mm -hmm. for different things. We offer a, a wide variety of stuff. But it's like, how do we reopen this business when we're already doing so so much. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm going to say this, and I think that I just, I'm thinking of, of the listeners and everybody who will mm -hmm. listen to a conversation. You can be a, what would, what would you call this serial business entrepreneur? You can't do it. It's just that you have to understand the first factor is every business has a growth time mm -hmm. or growth process. And you have to understand that you got to take the business through the childhood to adulthood and then that adulthood business can take off and do its thing. Um, let's use the example of your uh, travel agency. Because you said, you know, you coach people and then they became directors. So those directors are making money. Mm -hmm. So the business or the business structure or the business format makes money. It's just maybe it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, whatever the specifics, are, I think that it, it's not applicable right now. But we know that business structures do make it. It's just that, yeah, you're right. If you open a business and the business is taking off and you open another business, you got to be careful because now you have to, like I said, of twins, right? Each individual is going to need a specific details to help it grow. Mm -hmm. And and I, I, I see a, a lot of business owners that, my question to them will be, what are you chasing after? If it's money, that's the wrong thing to chase after, right? If it's uh, security for your future, okay, that could be, you, I mean, you agree, you could agree with me on that. But I, I, I think that for me, businesses, it's all about what is my goal for that particular business and how long am I going to give it so it'll grow, right? right? Because